This is my Galaxy Note 1 AT&T model. And uh, when I got it, if I go into settings, I didn't I didn't realize that it was still running uh, about phone status. Actually, you can go back. <laughs> it was actually running Android 2.3, which is gingerbread. So what I'll be doing is I'll try to update it. I can't update it through the software update. When I do that, it says it's already updated. It's probably because I don't have an AT&T SIM card. But that's besides the point. Here on this computer here, I will continue and explain what I'm going to be doing over here, which is I'm going to... I went to the... I went to AT&T website and said on May 3rd, 2013, there was an update that was available for Jelly Bean. So I just have to install the Samsung Key software. So I'll include this link in my YouTube, this URL over here. But when you click on the link, it'll take you here and you can select what software you want to download. I chose download for Windows. And so then it just says for smartphones before September 2013, which is mine, it says download keys. So you just want to download keys and download it and try to run it. So I'll let that happen. It's only 66 megabytes. It'll take a minute to download. And then hopefully I can update this phone over here. So we'll see. So I'm currently installing the keys software. And the instruction on AT&T is pretty self-explanatory. So just accept the license agreement for keys and install. Um, all it says is download keys, run and install it. Make sure to remove SD card from device. Connect phone to computer via USB data cable. And the tricky part is ensure keys recognizes the device by looking at the upper left section, left bar menu, navigation menu keys. So I'll have to check that. It's busy installing now. Shouldn't take that long. My computer isn't that slow. Um, sorry about the quality of this video. I'm back to my Nokia 520 and I'm doing something um, with my iPhone 4S right now, so I can't use that. I usually record videos with my iPhone 4S, but from time to time I like to bust out the old Nokia. Not really old, but it's the budget Nokia Lumia 520. Um, so this is taking a while to install, even though it's only 60 megabytes. I'm hoping the Jelly Bean update doesn't take too long to download and install. Um, I got my USB cable all ready and my phone right next to me. Uh, it asked if I want to install Unified Driver Installer. Uh, I'm just going to install everything. I didn't realize this take this long. Hopefully uh, installing Android 4.1.2 will unlock NFC on this phone. I was told that a uh, LTE version of this phone, the Galaxy Note 1, supports uh, NFC, which is kind of nice to have. I should take out my dog soon. I think she needs to go to the bathroom. She didn't look too happy. It's just raining outside, so I'm not too excited about going outside. So I didn't realize how long this installation would take. Um, 
Um, okay, so it's trying to install some free codec pack. I'm going to agree to it. Go through the motions of installing all these weird things. I don't know what they do. I just want to update my Galaxy Note SGH i717. I didn't realize it'd be this complicated. So this is the part where it's installing the device drivers, which is very important because if it doesn't have that, and I accidentally hooked up this cable into my phone, then my computer wouldn't recognize. I'm installing this on a Windows 7 machine, so I'll post that on the YouTube. Um, Windows 7 is pretty compatible with pretty much everything. Uh, Windows 8 has been kind of a driver nightmare for me, so I haven't upgraded my computer to Windows 8. But I'm sure a lot of you users out there have upgraded to Windows 8. <sighs> Again, this phone isn't for me. It's for my lovely wife. I broke her iPhone 4S trying to change the battery. And so she just wanted a phone that would last at least two years mind you the uh, iphone 4s was a used phone and i thought changing a battery would be very easy but i was wrong and i broke the battery connector by accident so again i didn't think it'd take this long maybe i should just pause this and uh get back once it's finished installing Wait. I'm not sure which mode to do. I'm just going to go light mode. Okay, so let me see. So it's going to load Samsung keys. Let me pause this for a second once it loads. I don't want the video to get messed up. Okay, so it's loaded Samsung keys. Let me go pause this for a second. Continuing. Uh, so, sorry, I'm going to maximize this. Oh, what the heck just happened? Okay, I maximize this. I don't even know what this arrow this light motors, whatever. Anyways. This was the light mode. Uh this looks kind of similar. So it says at the very top left over here it says please connect device. So that's what they were talking about in the in the instructions over here. It says once you hook it up, make sure that it says the right phone. So here's my thing, my data cable. Sorry about the bad zoom sh issue. Here's my Galaxy tab. My vape. And I'm going to plug this in at the very bottom. So it says MIP initialization charging. Uh, my computer is saying installing the device. Okie dokie, nothing happened. So maybe I need to swipe this. Just my luck. It's still installing the device. So I'm waiting for that to all happen. I'm not really happy about this taking so long. Let's see what happens now. Again, this is my first time doing it. I don't know really what I'm doing.
So it wasn't as easy as I thought it'd be. Still trying to find the Galaxy Note drivers. Now it's finally getting it automatically on Windows 7. I would think that Keys would know. So if you're running your update on Keys, you might have to manually find the uh, device drivers if for some reason this automatic install fails. You can see over here it's downloading now, but it might not work. For some of you, maybe if you're running XP, sometimes it doesn't install that stuff very easily. And so it's installing all that stuff. Let me show you. And all I did was I just clicked on the bottom right over here of Windows 7. I just clicked that and I just clicked on here. It said it was installing device. So just waiting for all this to finish. Sorry about this. Adjusting my tripod. Yep, this is a very amateur chop shop YouTube operation over here. I don't have the resources like other professional places. Okay, finished installing. And now you'll see that it says it's now connected. The top left, it says now connected. And even says what the device is. And so what I'm very fortunate that it says that it has an update available for me. So I didn't have to do anything. It just knew that it was there. So let me give this a pause because I don't know how long this update is going to take. So I'm in my key software, I'm not sure how long this update will take, but I'm going to go for it anyways. I'm going to update from 2.3 to 4.1.2. I don't even know if my phone has enough memory to do this. So right now it's asking me if I want to save the, the information in there. Uh, and I'm pretty cool with them saving the information. So you have to click that I have read all information, allow saving, and then start upgrade. <laughs> so the big question mark for me and probably for other people who have unlocked uh, galaxies is that will it will it remove the unlock? Most definitely not, unless you decide to do a complete factory reset using some special tool. This one should keep the carrier unlock. I wish when they send us this phone they include the unlock key code, but they don't. So uh, I don't foresee having to uh, do any special stuff to this phone. I, I still need to go back it up somehow. I don't know how. I just hopefully this phone doesn't die one day. I'm just never really had it happen unless I tried rooting my phone and I removed an app I shouldn't have removed so I'm not gonna touch that side because this is my wife's phone I'm just gonna go ahead and do this remember I'm just a normal guy like all you guys if I mess up I'm pretty sure you would mess up too so this is on Windows 7 machine 64-bit version it says battery is low recharge now that's very strange since it's recharging now So it wouldn't let me update because it needs to recharge first. So I'm going to let the phone recharge even though it's at 50%. And then I'm going to try to update the firmware. Yay. Okay, so my phone is charged to 72% now. Hopefully it can update. I'm going to go ahead and do the update. When it was at 50%, it said the battery is too low. Again, I'm going to click 
Read all the information, allow saving, start upgrade. I was very surprised it wouldn't upgrade when it was at 50% battery life. So we'll see at 70%. I would think that's more than enough. It's downloading the firmware right now. The good thing is it's not saying battery is low, so maybe it is going to upgrade the phone. So again, I don't want to run Android 2.3 because that firmware was kind of like old. When I say old, is it's just missing like Chrome and some other features. Like Jelly Bean has like the spherical picture taking and some other cool features supposedly NFC so we'll see if NFC will work on on this uh, AT&T uh, Galaxy Note what other things are available with Android 4.1 dot whatever or Jelly Bean I'm not sure I just know for sure I, I like using Chrome So I thought it was downloading file, but it's decrypting the binary file now. It's at 70%. I forgot to disable my antivirus, which I am going to do right now. I'm going to disable real-time protection and... It's just sometimes the antivirus gets in the way when you're doing an upgrade on your phone. I use Avira right now, but you guys can use anything for an antivirus. Anything's better than nothing. And for the past month, I've been using no antivirus because I was too lazy. Um, and Microsoft offers its own antivirus. And Windows 8, it's integrated into the operating system. I think it's Windows Defender. But on uh, Windows 7 and Vista and XP, I think it's Microsoft Ex Essentials. So it's decompressing the binary file. So I'm already three minutes into the upgrade. The download part, I think it happened earlier. I wonder how big the, da the firmware file is. It's probably around 100 to 300 megabytes. Uh, I was going to make a different video. With regards to my cable internet, I'm getting about 5 megabits per second. Not the fastest internet, but I'm only paying for the 3 megabit line. So I was going to mention that. So now I just saw the phone sort of shut off, I think. So I'll kind of show it over here. So this is what's going on on the phone. While things are updating. It says do not turn off. So on the bottom where it's installing software. It's kind of scary. It says over here, it says Odin mode. It says the product number and custom binary download. No, Samsung official. So I was lucky my device installed fine. So at any moment now, I should start seeing that something's happening to my phone. Still nothing. Put my phone down for a second. It's still on that same screen that I showed you.
Okay, still installing driver software. This is taking quite a long time. <laughs> Installed properly. And now the status is changing on here. It says 0%. And there's nothing that's changed on my actual phone. I'll show you in a second. Let's push this up. I don't want to lose anything. It's kind of slow. This is a very slow update process. When I upgrade my Pantech Burst, it only took 10 to 15 minutes, and this is already up to six minutes just doing the driver stuff. So now it's finally moving progress is at 2%. On the phone itself, I don't see anything different. It just shows that thing there. Sorry about the light. They have a light on top of me. Oh, and I actually went to Magic Castle and covered that up. I don't want to get in trouble for showing Magic Castle. So it's at 10%. Nothing showing up on the phone screen. So hopefully it finishes in a few minutes. I'm assuming any minute now my wife's going to rush in and bring me some food because she was just at a party at 20 percent 21 I don't know if my phone has enough memory to record this again I'm only recording on a Lumia 520 this thing only has what was it it only has 8 gigabytes of internal memory close this thing over here 40% This is going to be a long time to upload this video. Almost to 50%. It's at 49% right now. Again, on the phone itself, it doesn't show any type of information about what's going on. It just says the same thing. It says it's downloading. Do not turn off. So obviously I won't turn off. It's up to 57% now. 60%. I got allergies right now. Sixty-five percent. Mm -hmm. If this is my phone, I would probably just root it and install a custom firmware because Samsung software is pretty bloated. From what I've heard, a Galaxy Note 3 has 3 gigabytes of RAM, but 2 gigabytes of the RAM is already used. Uh, that's pretty crazy. That's more than what my desktop is probably using in terms of memory usage. Oh wow, we're hitting 10 minutes now. Almost to 80%. Almost to 90% now. It's moving along pretty quickly now. Again, on the actual phone, nothing's changed. And we're at 100% now. So the phone's starting to restart now. 
So that's the good news. And then on the top over here, it says firmware upgrade complete. I'm now running 4.1.2. <laughs> And says it's just my memory is running out of space so I'm just gonna leave it at that it's done and it's booting up something I need to clear some space so my phone just restarted I ran out of uh, memory on my Nokia Lumia so I'm down to my iPhone 4s to record and so again on my computer it says that the firmware upgrade was successful and it says it's restarting the device and if I look down here it's currently trying to reboot the phone it's taking a while to do so the upgrade took a little over 10 minutes actually longer because I had to make sure the phone was charged the whole process took probably around 20 minutes we'll see when I piece together all the videos so Android is upgrading the apps that's gonna take a while see it's not really done yet we get it let that finish up so again with this update hopefully it adds NFC adds ability to do Chrome uh, upgrades the camera so that I have more options like maybe I think 2.3 had landscape mode, but uh, for sure Android 4.1.2 will have landscape and it might have the spherical camera. Uh, what else might be included in this update? Uh, might have Wi Fi tethering. I think Android 2.3 might not have had that. I don't know. It's just so many changes when they went from gingerbread. I mean the user interface on uh, going from uh, gingerbread to ICS or jelly beans pretty it's a pretty nice upgrade because it's more more like you're using a, a phone or a tablet versus uh, things being kind of unintuitive the UI is much smoother and nicer looking I mean it looks like a pro polished product uh, even the camera itself in Jelly Bean, I think it, to me it runs quicker. Uh, whereas in Android 2.3, it felt like I had a toy camera when taking pictures. So now it's finishing the boot. And so here's the new, here's not really new, but my upgrade phone here. Let me see if I can go back here to get you a better look. It says swipe screen to unlock. Click OK. And then it says fast and easy setup. AT&T Ready 20E. I don't even know what that is, so I'm just going to cancel it. Uh, yeah, let's let them use Google Location Services. Okay, okay, okay. And so here's ICS. And if I go to apps. Okay, thanks for showing me everything. And I go to settings, I can verify for sure. Uh, oh, no, where settings is their settings is. Make sure. Oh, I don't want you to see me. I can go down to about the phone, about device here. That should tell me the version of Android 4.1.2. I'm running. So if I use the camera, before it used to make a look pretty cheesy, but now the camera, when I take pictures, it's 
It's kind of the same thing. I guess it's a Samsung thingy. But it's, it seems a little quicker. <coughs> Going back. Oh, uh, what other camera stuff do they have on here? Let's see what they have. I don't know. I guess no, no extra stuff. I'll see if it has any extra features, but upgrade went pretty well, and you use the keys software to do all this, so it's looking pretty good. It wasn't too difficult. It just ran into some minor roadblocks.